Hey there, welcome to my channel. My name is Barb McGowan and today I want to walk you through how to sign up for a Zoho mail account and then how to connect that to ClickFunnels. So the first thing you're going to want to do is go to Zoho.com and sign up for their mail service. So we want to leave this business email option toggled and click sign up. And I'm not going to go into super detail as to why, but the most popular option, which is the $4 a month option is the one that I use. And that's just due to the features that it has. So you'll go ahead and click sign up and I'm not going to show you how to enter your information for the email account, but I'm sure you can figure it out. And if not, just leave a comment and I will help you out. So once you've signed up for your email account, you want to go to your mail admin Zoho dashboard. And what we want to do is click on this option where it says domains. And we need to map three different things between our Zoho account and ClickFunnels. So I'm going to my ClickFunnels. Make sure you're logged in. And you want to go here to account settings. And then you're going to scroll down here and click domains. All right. And now we're going to click on over here on the right hand side to this three dots. This is the menu that will allow us to edit our domain records. And we want to scroll down to edit zone records right here. And then we're going to expand that. Now it's okay if this all kind of looks like gibberish. Zoho is going to give us really specific directions on what we need to add in order to connect Zoho mail to ClickFunnels. So if we go back over to Zoho mail to the admin console. So this is the first page that will pop up again once we've clicked on that domains button. And so there are three records that we need to add. So we're just going to click on this middle button that says email configuration. We're going to go down the list. So we need to add the MX record, the SPF record and the DKIM record. Okay. So this gives us the directions of what we need to add in ClickFunnels. So the host name is going to be an at sign. These are the priorities and then these are the addresses. So we're going to add one at a time. So let's copy this top one. So this first one here is going to correspond with this priority 10. All three of the records that we're going to add for the MX records, they're all going to use a host name of at the at sign. And then this first one that's a priority 10 is going to use this address. So let's go back over to ClickFunnels. Let's see. And as you can see in this number three right here, we're adding a new MX record. So let's go to add. The type is again going to be MX. Remember the name is going to be the at sign. The value is what we copied from Zoho. And remember that first priority was the priority 10. Okay. We'll click save. And we're just going to go back to the edit zone records section, expand that again. And now we're going to go back to Zoho for the next set of values. So again, the host name is going to be at again, the priority now is this, 20 right here. And that corresponds to this address. So I'm going to click here to copy, go back over to click funnels and we're going to add pretty much that same exact record, but just ever so slightly different. So the at sign, the value, and that's a priority of 20. And again, click save. So once again, you can see that this is kind of the same thing over and over again, just a little bit different. So now we're going back to Zoho and this time the priority is 50 using this bottom address. So I'm going to click here to copy. And once again, the host name is the at sign. 
go back to click funnels we're going to add one last mx record again that name is at the value that we copied from zoho just now and the priority is 50. okay then we're going to save that okay so now we go back to zoho if we scroll down it's going to give us the option to verify the MX record. So basically we're going to click this and it's going to click funnels and Zoho mail are going to talk to each other and confirm that we did in fact set this up correctly. So you should see this message pop up. If you didn't, it means that you did not enter the information the exact same as I did in this video. So go back and rewatch that part and pause it, making sure that you're doing exactly what I'm doing in the video. Okay, so the next step, we're gonna go back to email configuration. So we just did the MX record. Now we're gonna do SPF. Okay, so we're gonna, this time we're gonna add a new TXT record. So again, the TXT record is gonna have at as the name. And we're just gonna hit this button here to copy that. So we're adding a TXT record the name is at. So let's go back to click funnels. Again, we're going to edit zone record. So click here to expand. We're going to add a TXT record. The name is at, and we're just going to hit control V or paste that value and click save. All right. And I know we need to add at least one more. So I'm just going to get this ready. Expand it again. And now we'll go back to Zoho. So just like we did with the MX record, we're gonna verify the SPF record. So you're gonna get this sign or this uh, message, and that's gonna tell you that ClickFunnels and Zoho Mail are able to talk to each other appropriately. And the last record, this one's a little bit tricky, so really pay attention. And you might need to rewatch this part of the video. We're gonna go down here. So we did MX, we did SPF, and this is the last one we're gonna do, just the DKIM. So click that. And if you want to know the really in-depth details of why I'm instructing you to do it this way, you can click right here, learn more, but I'm just gonna give you the synopsis of what to do to save you time. So we're gonna click add. The selector name is just gonna be Zoho. So Z-O-H-O and then add. So now we're going to go through and add a TXT record using this name and this is the value. Okay, so let's just start with this name. Again, this is a TXT record and I'm clicking here to copy. Go back to ClickFunnels. Add a TXT record and paste the name. Now we still need the value, so let's go back over to Zoho. We're gonna click this button here to copy. And again, this is the value that we want. Take that back over to ClickFunnels and paste that into the value box. Click Save. Okay, so that is the three records that we need to add. So again, we're gonna click right here to verify that Zoho and ClickFunnels are talking the way they should. And this green check mark is gonna indicate that everything is good to go for that DKIM record. So now that Zoho Mail and ClickFunnels are connected, all you need to do is integrate ClickFunnels with your email autoresponder. So for example, I use Aweber, so if you watched my video where I talk about how to set up an email campaign with Aweber. I talk about how to integrate your Aweber into ClickFunnels. So watch that video if you're not sure. But now that you have Zoho and ClickFunnels integrated, you can receive new subscribers into your Aweber or whatever email autoresponder that you're using. And now you'll be able to send them automated email messages. And when people respond to those automated messages, if they do, then you can check your email in Zoho, just like you would if you were checking your Gmail account or your Yahoo account. So this kind of stuff can be really technical and difficult, but the good news is once you've 
done this mapping, you really only have to do it once. And if you have to do it multiple times, you can always refer back to this video for help. My name's Barb McGowan. Thanks for watching and go ahead and like this video if it was helpful to you and subscribe so you can get notified whenever I put out a new video.